Hi, I'm Mike, and on today's installment of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, we're going to help you decide which exhaust system is right for your vehicle. When you go to our website, you're going to notice that there's a lot of different exhaust options available for, for pretty much any vehicle application out there. Uh, the first I want to address is the late model vehicles. In most late model vehicle applications, uh, it's going to be required to, to keep the catalytic converter in the system um, to maintain the proper operation of the computer and ensure your check engine light doesn't come on, and actually just to uh, assure that the vehicle runs and operates properly. Now, I know there are ways around this. I know there's a ways to reprogram the computer to get rid of the converter for more performance. Uh, we don't recommend that here for the most part because that no longer makes your car street legal, um, but I, I do realize that that option is out there. For the most part, for our customers with the late model vehicles, we're going to offer a cat-back system. And what a cat-back system is, it's going to be the, the exhaust system from the catalytic converter back. Installing these types of systems is usually fairly easy, actually, because the catalytic converter will probably have a flanged end on it, so it's a matter of a couple bolts. Disconnect the old exhaust system and put the new exhaust system in its place using the existing hangers and brackets, um, which makes it a, a, a very desirable upgrade for these, this, these vehicle types. Something else you'll notice though is with a lot of cat-back systems, especially for the truck applications, that you're going to have some exhaust exit options, meaning that instead of just uh, sticking with the original single exhaust out outlet, we can have an upgrade to a, a dual exhaust system as well for, for looks and sound and whatever you desire. On early model vehicles, uh, for the most part, most of those vehicles didn't have catalytic converters, which means that we're going to have to get a system that's designed to attach from the exhaust manifold or headers back. Uh, most of the systems that we carry are header back systems, meaning they're designed around a full length header application. Um, what these systems are is they're basically going to be a system that's going to have all the piping from the collector flange to the back of the vehicle. Uh, something to be aware of with these systems though is that a lot of them are designed around a specific header design, whether it be a Hooker Super Comp or a Summit header, who's ever brand header. And they will list that specifically in the application notes um, for that exhaust system. What's important to understand here is that every single header out there is designed differently, meaning that different brands are going to have the collector come out at a different location. This could cause some slight fitment issues with that exhaust system um, on vehicles in which you have a header that, was, that doesn't match the design of that header back system. Um, another thing to consider as well is, is that a lot of times we're going to try to put a dual exhaust system on a vehicle that wasn't originally equipped with the dual exhaust or wasn't even an option. Therefore, the transmission cross member may not be able to accommodate uh, a dual exhaust system because of the fact that it, one side hangs lower than the other. Therefore, you may actually have to change the cross member or you may have to modify the one you have in the vehicle. The good thing is for a lot of the popular applications, we now carry double hump cross members that have the proper clearance for a dual exhaust system. There's also another option for you guys with custom header applications. Um, in a lot of situations, as we mentioned with the header back systems, they're designed around a specific header type. Uh, if you know for sure that that exhaust system is going to come nowhere close to fitting with your headers or your header type, uh, we also have cross member back systems, meaning that it's going to be everything that would come in the header system except for the intermediate pipe for the most part that attaches to that header design. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you the ability then to go ahead and custom make that pipe so it attaches, attaches properly and specifically to the type of header you designed or, or put on that vehicle. I know we didn't address the different muffler types that are uh, available in these systems today, um, but look forward to a video that we're going to put out about the different muffler types and the advantages of each.